Good day everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I'll be showing you how to memorize the trigonometric table. So please, kindly sit down, pay attention and listen. Thank you. Alright, now, I want to show you how you can use your five fingers to memorize the trigonometric table. Now, first of all, let me draw my five fingers. Please don't be laughing. All right, those are my five fingers. All right, let me start numbering it from 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, 30 degrees, and zero degrees. Okay, all right. Now for sine theta, it is the fingers below divided by two. Now for the first one now, sine zero degrees, sine zero the fingers below you have any finger below so it's already square root of zero over two which is equals to what zero it therefore means that sine zero degrees is zero now the next one is sine 30 degrees now sine 30 degrees is the finger below square root of the finger below divided by two. So I have square root of, the finger below is how many? Just one. One over two. So this will give me square root of one is one, and we have over two. So sine 30 degrees will give me one over two. So I have one over two. It therefore means that sine 30 is one over two. Now for sine 45 degrees, the same rule, we use the fingers below over 2. So now we have for sine 45, the fingers below 1, 2, 2 fingers. So I have square root of 2 over 2. I can also rewrite this as square root of 2 over, don't forget that the square root of 4 gives us 2 over square root of 4. I can also simplify this as square root of 2 over, don't forget that this is 2 times 2, square root of 2 times 2. It means that I can separate this as square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2. This cancels this. Therefore, I can rewrite this as 1 over square root of 2. It therefore means that sine 45 degrees is equals to 1 over square root of 2. So for 45 degrees, I have 1 over square root of 2. Now for sine 60, sine 60 degrees, the square root of the numbers below. So at sine 60, I have 1, 2, 3. So 3, square root of 3 over 2. So for sine 60, I have square root of 3 over 2. Now the next one we have sine 90. 90 degrees. I have at 90, the fingers below 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. So I have square root of 4 over 2. This will give me square root of 4 is 2 over 2, which is equals to 1. It therefore means that sine 90 degrees is equal to 1. Alright, now let's go to cos theta. Now, the rule for cos theta is fingers above over 2. Now, for the first one, I have 0. Any finger above, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it therefore means that for cos 0 degrees, I have square root of the fingers above, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. Square root of 4 over 2. This will give me 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So, cos, 10, cos 0 degrees will give me 1. Now, the next one we have is for cos 30 degrees. For cos 30 degrees, 
I have the rule says fingers above so one the fingers above 30 are one two three so this will give me square root of three over two so for cos 30 square root of three over two the next one we have for 45 the fingers above one is 45 the fingers above one two over two so i have square root of sorry for 60 degrees i have square root of two over two so square root of two over two now for 60 degrees for sorry for 60 degrees i have the fingers above just one so this will be sorry this was for 45 degrees so for course 60 degrees this will give me the fingers above just one finger so i'll have square root of one over two so this will give me square root of one is one over two all right so i have one over two now the next one is for course 90 for course 90 90 degrees i have there's no finger above 90 degrees so this will give me square root of zero over two this will give me zero over two is zero so it means that cos cos 90 degrees is equal to zero all right let's go to tan now the rule for tan is the fingers below over the fingers above all right so let's go to tan zero degrees the fingers square root of the fingers below over the square root of the fingers above all right for tan zero the fingers below are we don't have any finger below for the fingers above we have four of it so we have four over zero which four over zero which will still give me zero so for tan 30 degrees for tan 30 degrees i have the fingers below just one above three so this will give me square root of one over square root of three so the square root of one is one over square root of three so this will give me one over square root of three don't forget the first one we had zero now the next one is tan 45 tan 45 degrees now the same thing applies for tan 45 degrees the fingers below one two divided by square root of the fingers above one two so we also have square root of two over square root of two this will give me this cancel this so we have one over one which will still give me what one it therefore means that tan theta tan 45 degrees is one now the next one i have is for tan 60 tan 60 degrees so at 60 the fingers below one two three the fingers above just one so i have square root of three over square root of one this is indirectly square root of three square root of three and for tan theta we all know it is undefined all right don't forget that when we are calculating for sine 45 degrees we also add square root of two over two and we simplify it to one over square root of two so it therefore means that you can actually rewrite this as one over square root of two all right we've come to the end of our exciting trick on the trigonometric table i hope you learned a lot please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel for more exciting mathematics videos I hope you learned a lot on why God gave you five fingers. Please kindly use it and click on the subscription button. Bye-bye.